Hey guys, it's your girl Lady Mamacita and I'm back today with another video. In today's video, I will be discussing um, basically how, why I was homeless for two months. Well, no. How I was homeless for a month with my two month old baby. So if you're interested in wanting to know why I was homeless and what happened and how I got through it and how I overcame it, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna get right into it if you are still on this video and you wanted to know what happened to me and how i got through my situation then um please get your drink your food so we can get right into this video i'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of water if you guys hear my baby it's my baby in the background it's her swing going back and forth she's right here right next to me okay She's about to take a nap. Okay. Okay, guys. So, whew, where do I begin? Okay, so basically, I left my home um, the day before Halloween. So that was the 30th. I left my home. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to really talk about why I had to leave my home. I'm just going to kind of get into what happened within the month that I was out of my home and where I'm at now and what God has done for me thus far. And yeah, so basically, um, I moved out of my home November, no, October 30th. Me, my mom, my little brother and my newborn baby, we all had to move out of our home. And so when we left our, when I left my home, I went to go and stay with my baby's father and for those of you that know and have been watching my videos know that me and my baby's father don't have the brightest relationship but we try our best to make it work for my daughter um with that being said i had to go and stay with him um because we didn't have like a place to move right into after leaving our apartment so I had to go and stay with him um, versus going to like a motel or going to stay with another family member. I'd rather go where I'm comfortable and with her family where, you know what I mean? Like they know this is their, this is her family. They know obviously about babies and she's going to be crying and fussy. I'd rather be around her family where I feel comfortable and whatnot. So I went to go and stay with him and um, again, given the fact that he and I didn't have the brightest relationship before me going to his home. Things were not the easiest time for me. So um, when I got to his home, things were a little bit rocky, not a little bit, a lot of it rocky because um, like literally within the week that we had been there every day, he just would get up and he would leave and basically leave with my baby at the house and um it began to become a pattern every day every day every day he was leaving he was leaving and i got to the point where i was like okay well i'm not about to stay here and just be here with your family like i'm gonna leave too so i ended up going and leaving and when i would go to my friend's house like my close girlfriend's house where i felt comfortable to take my daughter and i would go to their homes and like literally just be there all day until like he told me that he was about to go home so that became a lot on me as being a new mommy and technically a single mommy it was just a lot to have to take my daughter out every day and go to friends houses and stuff and just just be in discomfort because i genuinely wanted to be at home um prior to me moving it was just a lot it was very very stressful on myself because i had to pack up my baby girl's crib I had to pack up all of our clothes and stuff and not only just pack up stuff but set stuff aside to keep in my car and uh, set stuff aside to keep in my car um so that way we had stuff to wear every day because I couldn't pack up everything like I had to pack up some stuff you know to go into storage and then I had to pack up other stuff that we could be able to you know change our clothes and stuff so it was just a lot being with him because I felt as though 
he didn't really understand what I was going through as a person and I felt like in his eyes everything's always about him and he never really looks at the opposite side of the story it just is and I'm talking about my baby daddy um but anyway so I proceeded to stay with him and stay with him um again because I you know wanted my daughter to have a comfortable and um safe place for her to lay her head at at night and so I did just that but it was not easy um there was many main many um sleepless nights there was many crying days um because I never thought that I would be in this predicament be in that predicament where I was homeless with my newborn um and trying to figure things out I was applying for apartments and trying to do everything I could to get into apartments and I'm going to be completely honest because I'm a open book and I'm very honest about everything I couldn't get into um an apartment on my own due to my credit and back when I was younger I didn't really take heed to like that credit is very important and you need to have good credit and now that I'm getting older now I see that the importance of what it means to have good credit so I couldn't get an apartment on my own due to my credit and so um it was a very 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 hurtful situation because I just felt like okay dear god now what do I do and um I began to just start to feel very alone and very sad because I couldn't go to my dad to ask him for help or my parents because my parents were both going through their own situations and their own transitions. Like my mom, you know, we both just had to leave our home. You know what I mean? So she was going through her transition and my dad was going, my dad is going through a transition as well. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't lean on either of my parents to help me out during that time of me, you know what I mean? Going through what I was going through. Yeah. I could have went and stayed with my mom, um, you know, where she was staying at and whatnot, but I didn't want to. I proceeded to stay with my baby's father. And so it was just, it was very, very hard because in that time, I'm not very social. I don't really have that many friends. I keep to myself because I just feel like I'm just better to myself. Um, and so during that time, I just kind of kept to myself a lot more. And I have one girlfriend who I like. One day, I don't know when I will ever be able to repay her, but I have one girlfriend who always has looked out for me um, before I had my baby and looks out for me now. Her and her mom have always just been there for me and always had a open door for me whenever I need to come and stay. They've always been there for me. And she um, did tell me that I could come stay with her during the time of my transition, um, but I would be, you know, staying with her staying in one of her siblings rooms and as me as a person I just didn't want to do that just due to the fact that again I just was so caught up in this that I didn't really think about think about I don't know the I don't know I just was just caught up in my feelings I guess and um I didn't want to be a burden on anyone that's my biggest thing I don't want to be a burden I don't want to anyone to feel bad for me for my situation because I'm gonna get through it I knew that God was gonna bring me out of it however it was very very trying every day I was frustrated having to go into my car to go get my clothes out and you know what I mean having to shower at my friend's houses and stuff and I didn't have to shower at my friend's house like I could have showered at my baby's father's house but as me being so caught up on him leaving every day I just would hop up early in the morning and just leave to him be like oh I'm gonna just shower my friend's house when I should have just you know what I mean like showered there and again he has a nice home there's nothing wrong with his home or anything I just was so caught up in my emotions that I just would like hop up every day and leave and um Thanksgiving had came around and again we're in the holidays and I don't want to be emotional, but we're going through holidays and whatnot, and it was just a lot on me during Thanksgiving. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go anywhere because, again, like, 
I'm technically homeless. All my stuff is in my car. Like, I didn't want to do anything, but I had already bought my baby girl a little first Thanksgiving outfit and whatnot. So I wanted her to wear that, even if, like, I just put it on her and she took pictures and then she turned three months, like, the day before Thanksgiving. So it was important for me to do that. And I had gotten all. So, as I was saying, it was very important to me that my daughter, you know, I was able to take pictures. And stuff with her for Thanksgiving and <laughs> she's just smiling at me um but it was very important that you know like I got that moment that day with my daughter you know for her to take pictures and so I can show her one day like oh you know this is what we did on Thanksgiving and you guys besides everything that I was going through um I still went around my family I went to like multiple families houses on Thanksgiving and I, you know, acted as if what I was going through didn't face me. Like, I, you know, um, had an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. I wish I would have had my mom's cooking. But other than that, I'm thankful that I was able to um, see 2020 Thanksgiving and that I was able to have my baby girl. Um, so after Thanksgiving, I was still staying with my baby's father and again going through transition of trying to figure myself out and trying to figure out what I was going to do and um as I said I couldn't get an apartment because due to credit so I was getting denied multiple places that I wanted to live at like they were denying me um due to my credit score not being up to par and so um it was just so heartbreaking because I was like okay well I can't get an apartment so I'm gonna have to figure out like a B plan and um I just had like it was either me continue to stay with my um baby's father and his family or to um like look for a room for rent so that's what I did I was like you know what like I want my baby girl to have her crib up I want you know to be able to go into my own closet and get her clothes out and not have to go to my trunk to take my clothes out and go to the trunk to take her clothes out like I was just over living out of my car like I just could not do it anymore and again like I said in the beginning of my video I had been praying excuse me that God would bless me with something before Christmas like even if it meant me and my daughter were in our place by ourselves for Christmas like I wanted to be in somewhere for Christmas and God did just that um he's so phenomenal I I give all the praise and the honor to him because without the Lord I don't know where I would be I um, mean don't mind this bruise on my nose I was washing my face and I broke out from this stuff that I was using anyways um but um to God be the glory I got a place and I am renting a room from a really really nice family and I will go more into detail about that when I do like possibly my room tour and um at first it was very very hard for me to even take the the leap of faith to rent a room because I'm very very private I'm very very like I said you know to myself and so I was like very cautious and very protective of where I went to go rent a room from because again I have a newborn I'm also a female you know what I mean like you can't just live with anybody and so um the place where I'm staying at my mom had already went to like go and look at it and check it out for me and then um I went to come and look myself and I was like okay I like it like it's a master bedroom I have my own bathroom I have obviously my big room I have my own entrance into the home um and again like it's like my own little area I can come and go when I please <clears throat> and this is only the beginning and like I said in my previous videos I want my story to <clears throat> hopefully um give other young ladies to talk about whatever they're going through or being an example for other young ladies that are going through whatever the case may be situations with your family situations with your boyfriends whatever the case may be and you feel like you want to step out on faith and you maybe can't get an apartment but look into something along the lines of what i'm in i was looking for like back houses and stuff like that and i couldn't find anything and so 
I'm thankful. It's, you know, it's not what I desired for me and my daughter. However, it's what is best for us right now. And I'm super thankful and I'm happy that um, I'm comfortable. We've been here since we got adjusted um, about two days ago. And it just feels so awesome. I'm so thankful. Um, I will definitely, like I said, do a room tour so you guys can see my room after I get stuff done. Like I have to I have to do a few more things. Um, but I'm just thankful because through it all of me crying and be upset being upset and overwhelmed and feeling like dear god why me again you know how we all go through that time in our life where we're like dear god why me well that's why because he knew that there was going to be obviously light at the end of the tunnel and i feel like as though god did it to see whether i was gonna fold or whether i was gonna stand and i definitely didn't did stand on his word and his faith and now i'm comfortable with my baby girl and this gives me an opportunity. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, if I'm gonna be here for six months to a year, two years, I don't know yet. We'll see what God has in store for me, but it gives me time as a new mom, a single mom, to start saving my money, to um, you know, only have to pay a certain amount of rent a month and not have to pay for no utilities, you know, no cable bill, no none of that, like all that's included, like score, like I couldn't ask for anything better and I'm super happy I'm thankful yes I wish things were a lot different but at the same time I'm very very thankful me and my daughter are not in a homeless shelter we're not on the streets we're not things could be a lot worse and um, I have to keep reminding myself that that you know things are good so with that being said make sure you like comment and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Please turn on your post notifications so you will be alerted every time I post a new video. I do plan on being more consistent on my channel because I want to get to a thousand subscribers by sometime next year. So make sure to share my videos for me so that way I can be able to reach that goal. But again, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.